Good morning, Sri Lanka. We are now on the streets of Colombo, heading towards Mr. Sujiva Senasingha's residence, where we will take him around Colombo and around Sri Lanka, actually, on his daily routine in a three-wheel. We've spoken to Mr. Senasingha before today to ask him whether or not he believes that you actually need luxury cars to travel around. So we're going to see today whether or not he can actually carry out his day-to-day -day activities, his daily tasks, in a three-wheeler. Do you think he's up for the task? Let's find out. Good morning, Honourable Minister. I hope you had a good time at the gym. Yes, yes. Uh, freshening. Freshening, yeah. Okay. I just want to know what's your daily plan for today? Um, morning, I go to the gym around 7.30. Uh, daily, I try to go daily, yeah. unless I uh, had a late night. Yeah. Uh, then today, we have the cabinet meeting at uh, 9.30, and then uh, parliament at 1 o'clock. So once I finish the cabinet, uh, I'll check with the I'll have to go to the ministry close right. by. So if I have to meet uh, some investors or some officials, I'll meet them. And then after that, uh, straight to the parliament. And then parliament, a couple of committees. And then back home and in the evening, I'm not sure I haven't checked my right. diary. That's fine. It sounds, it sounds brilliant. I think we have a special surprise waiting for you. We have a nice tuk-tuk outside. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah, but that's my actually favorite uh, mode of transportation. Oh, Very easy. Yeah. Uh, a lot of air. Yeah. And uh, I'm used to it. I mean, this is not new for me. Yeah. Let's try and take you on a day-to-day -day life with ministers in a tuk tuk.
oriented sort of person then it's uh, the stress is uh, actually and we are need to perform you know, need to perform right? you need to because your standards are your own you set up your Complete. standards and your and your boundaries so when you set your standards very, very high, high yeah so keeping up to that uh, that standard is very stressful oh definitely Otherwise, you can not make it very stressful. Also, if you are not result oriented, result bound, then you can just uh, do a sort of fake uh, go and say hello, and yes. you don't need to work hard. Just, you only have to get elected, and then you have you can sit and just uh, be with the public and do a little bit of dancing, and then get elected That's again. Right. Yeah. But if you if you if you really want now in my ministry, I really want to perform. I want to get the BOI rolling again. I want the BOI to be the most successful institution and right. get the glory back which he had which it had about uh, 20 years ago right. and the edb export development board right. i want that to function well so when when your results are oriented then your stress is very high definitely because you actually want to make a feasible change within the country exactly and within my capacity with around me right so if my whatever i take a task i would want to perform it uh, to the best of my ability right. so that's uh, very stressful Keeping the phone on 24 hours is very difficult, especially when you're given your phone number out. And everybody has your number; they can get through to you, and then they're not going to talk, call you and ask you whether you wait or whether you had a nice time or, yeah. or whether we can give you a good time or whether it's always a problem. Which right. My phone ring is a problem. So I have to solve every one of these problems. They know me, man. Most yeah. of the time, I wave at them and they speak to me. I mean, it really brings like the common man hope and pleasure to see just companies. But, but at the same time, like from my from same social background, you get a lot of envy also. Yeah, they wait to pounce on you to just criticize them. Oh, they. I, I I sometimes laugh actually. Think that Some they don't even concentrate say. of uh, the the other politicians who are who are actually. Uh, Play, play, like, make yeah. a mockery of the system. They don't even mention. I Facebook. I don't even see one mention of those. Right. Uh, but like uh, same, and they would even those days. Nama also. They they never mention even to yeah. make a remark on them. Right. Now all of a sudden, even if I turn to turn right, they find all the guys. It's uh, it's ridiculous and it's sometimes. Very humorous, also. Completely. I mean, nowadays, because of Facebook being such an easy tool to use, people just take advantage of it and exactly, do whatever they want. Exactly. There's a difference between vitalizing the tools that Facebook gives us and just ridiculously using it for no good purpose. Exactly. And actually, uh, during the flood relief, I distributed. Uh, Oh yes, eight thousand, hundred, hundred lakhs worth of this, all my money. Right, mine and my brothers, my friends. So uh, because the 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 Pradeep said, "Like I'm the lady," said, "Make sure, sir, that you have your identity because otherwise they will say that you are distributing the government uh, passes." Right. So we had a, a sticker. This. We yeah. had a sticker. My my ladies, uh, I distribute. I do a uh, uh, actually. Uh, Self-employment uh, program for them, so I give them uh, raw materials. So for that, we have a, we had had some small bags. So in that carta, so we have my pictures there. So we we, we thought we'll use it. We had about five thousand bags. Right. So we use that, and then and the one guy goes on. He calls me like a big kid or something. And right. So I was just thinking whether this idiot will ever call. 
Malaka Silvas, Mervyn Silvas, Raja Pakistan. And they will be ever. For, for me, doing a flat relief, if I need doing, doing something good, he won't even mention this. So I was thinking, how stupid is Animate or some guy? Yeah. But belong, he, he's in a, some uh, advertising firm. Right. So I was understanding, I'm trying to understand his mentality of these guys. Because Probably because good. I'm from the same background, they feel happy yeah. and they, yeah. uh, they see good comments on us and they... Yeah. It's, uh, as high as you will go, I'm trying to understand the psychology behind it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you're trying to do something good for the people in Sri Lanka. Yeah, Rio and, and you have done something and then you... And the others, like uh, the, the... There are goons in politics and they yeah. do so much uh, damage to the society, to people around them, to the system. Yeah. But I don't see a single those. mention of exactly. uh, on, on those. And then he had the audacity to like I was just wondering. And I uh, didn't see that. Then he has he has put one of my faces and then saying that I have uh, abuse team or something like that and then uh, but one of my friends actually showed me so I was there. Yeah. And these are things the people that you face. Definitely. The hardships of being up at the top. Yeah, and then especially the, the the high society and the upper middle class is sometimes right. really uh, away from reality. Definitely. It's, they just uh, criticize everything. They, they don't look at the bigger picture. Definitely. They don't look at the big picture. Yeah. They only take minute things. I mean, what is, even if it wasn't for the sake of distribution, what is the problem in having a sticker with you? No, you, mean, that you should have, you should be confident to give it to I'm not a, I'm not a priest. I'm doing a marketing yeah. as a politician. I'm always and um, uh, whatever I do, Completely. I don't, I don't try to put it forward and tell people, okay, I'm doing this uh, bluntly. Exactly. But I would like if people know what I'm doing, right? Exactly. Any politician, how would you know Obama is good? How would you know Clinton is good? Unless you know what they do. What they do, exactly. Right? And uh, and I should uh, I should have the confidence to give that uh, dry ration and that should be a quality dry paper so that I would be responsible for what I give. Exactly. And then I have the confidence, if I give you something with my name, a professor, I should, I should, it should make sure that I should make sure that it's mine and yes, it's good. Completely sure. Otherwise, what's if I and if you get presents and why do people give presents with their name? Exactly. And you can have at a birthday party you can have presents it's without names. Anonymously, yeah. Why do you want to show that he who gave it? Then you can have exactly. that same argument with that. So some people are really stupid. A good Samaritan act does not necessarily need to be anonymous. No, it's definitely. It doesn't have to be. Yeah. It depends on if it's anonymous, that's fine. But it's, it's, it, 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 it if it's if it has a change anything just because you exactly. have to name on it. Exactly. The act is still being done. And, what's that, the and I was just talking to some people, I said, What's your problem? What's your what's your did you so I also went and gave something. I said it's not like that. Seven days we did sleep and all that. You just you just sit in and watch TV and have coffee and you uh, uh, collect something and go and give and for the fun of it like a hobby or like the, Yeah you to feel good that you went and helped. Right. It's not like that. This is like seven days we were working hard. Collecting. And hundred lakhs collecting is not easy. Hundred lakhs worth of right and eight thousand packets. To packet it how difficult it is. It's all right. the, it's actually the, uh, the female supporters are in my electorate, they did it and I I promised them to take on a them on a trip now. Wow. And that, that's a big thing you should, I should I have for those people because they're not doing it for money, they're not and they want to see they, when I am there, they want to know that they are there and they always make a point to make it a point yeah, to say that I am exactly. here. And I can't tell them why do you want to show that you are here, you are doing something uh, for the general public who are in dying. They also want some recognition. Yeah, so every, 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 every body is like that. And exactly. it doesn't matter. That, that's what I said. I don't you know, I don't care what you call it. But don't waste your time on criticizing and just why don't you do something yourself. Do something for yourself and go around and without sitting at home and criticizing others without. Yeah. Exactly. And these supposed to be these uh, sometimes uh, I call them the wine and cheese club in Kalampu. Yeah. <laughs> I always yeah. laugh at them. That good good critics sometimes. Oh yeah. They hardly do anything. All the, there's a certain like you said the wine and cheese club. There's yeah. a certain area people all they do is just criticize. They, they, just they, they, they eat wine, wine, they 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 eat wine, eat cheese, get together with a fan, yeah. this one is this, this one. Yeah. yeah. But do all. they ever do anything? Do exactly. they ever take action? Is that the no. problem? Sometimes normal people do the charitable work in 
Activist Society. There's another one, it's called uh, Armchair Activists. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, sit yeah. in their big armchairs and they just type yeah, yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had gone to Buleti for. Uh, we had gone to the district secretary in Buleti to do a workshop for around 400 kids yeah. on gender based violence. Yeah. And when we went up there, there was a, uh, a partnering group who had broken off from us because they didn't like the direction we were taking. Right. And after that, all they did was smile to us. They didn't want to take any initiative. No, they didn't do they, But they have reached forget me. When they move it, they don't want to do that. But they don't want to do that. They want to just discredit us. Yeah. Because they didn't agree with us. They just want to completely no, that's, discredit that's us. That's always about that. Exactly. It's about my way or the way I want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How it definitely should not be. Everybody should be trying to at least work together. The pandemic situation is everywhere. It's now pandemic is coming up. Oh yeah. Everywhere. It doesn't matter where you go. Taking away, taking away that girl. The classic Sri Lanka. Yeah. Yeah. Like your house is beautiful. That rustic feel. Yeah. Love me. Good evening, Sri Lanka. After a successful day of running around with um, Minister Sujiva, we can I can successfully say that I am absolutely tuckered out, and I'm sure you, having actually gone to the meetings, are even more tired. How are you doing this evening, Minister? Uh, I'm okay, actually. I'm, I'm used to it. So, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, actually, to be honest. Now, I mean, I was tired from going around a three-wheeler, and I know that it's difficult to go without a car or a, even a luxury car. That I mean, it is difficult to go without them on these day-to-day journeys, especially when it's hot outside in Sri Lanka. How did you like it going in three-wheeler today? It's more than a difficulty. It's actually um, it's the time that which is uh, which concerns me, and it's not around Colombo. I don't mind going in a tri show every day. If that's uh, that that I, that's the mode of transport I have to use. Um, but uh, more than that, it's the it's stress that I have to, we have to uh, be on time from one place to I have the cabinet meeting at 9.30 in the morning and then uh, the development um, committee meeting in Kaduela at 11.30. Right. So keeping, uh, keeping the time and, um, and keeping uh, in line with the time right. and then here be back in parliament at 1 and then the committee is another judicial committee in parliament. So that is the difficulty, you know, more than transportation actually. Right. The difficulty we face and the stress point that we each uh, point uh, how much stress that you have to uh, encounter so um, overall once once i finish i feel that i have achieved something for the day i've done something right so i feel in the end when it, around 5 5 30 i feel good definitely so i mean and it's it's i mean to be quite honest i find it more comfortable to go in my car rather than a three-wheeler i mean especially to go all the way to Kaduela in a tutu it must be difficult it must be not, not really, no. Actually, no. I, I'm used to a uh, tri shop from my from right. my small days. I, I love a tri shop because it's, yeah. it's fast, it's easy. Uh, you can get in, you can park anywhere. You can um, uh, actually even the traffic. You can right. avoid the traffic. Can uh, go inside the traffic. So to be honest, I'm not saying this yeah. because I'm trying to uh, act modest or uh, trying to uh, say that I'm simple or something. But uh, I'm used to a tri shop. Right. And I, right. I every week about uh, once or twice I use a tri shop. And um, so uh, that's part of my, and uh, so there's nothing new. Definitely, sir. Going we, in a tri shop. We saw that your beautiful Volkswagen cars, that you said that you drive yourself in the evenings. Yeah, so it's like actually a Volkswagen car. There's no AZ in my Volkswagen. <laughs> so I have the <laughs> same uh, feeling. Yeah. I go to the parliament in my Volkswagen. Wow. I drive by myself. So uh, it's just, uh, and this is much easier because you're not driving. Then you're not constantly, you yeah. can be on the phone and you can do what you want to do. So uh, it's just, it's, just uh, it's, it's, it's right. very pleasant. It's like, actually, I don't find, to be honest, yeah. I don't find much of a problem uh, going in a tuk-tuk. I mean, if you can I'm very ride. comfortable. Uh, oh, completely. So. And if you yeah. can ride around in your bike around the streets of Colombo, then why not a tuk-tuk, right? Yeah, yeah we are used to it. You know, I'm from Kandy and my parents, uh, we were brought up like that. We were given everything and we were given all the freedom. So we were... Uh, playing in the streets, we were cycling in the streets. So it's not like uh, these days, we were brought up in that in sort that of atmosphere and, and the surrounding. So we are very much used to it. We were very, uh, very uh, 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 hands on the ground sort of uh, kids when we were right. young. 
so it's it's uh, it emulates into our now professional life also so it's, it's it's very easy right and would you encourage people in sri lanka to actually get out more use their bikes or even um, walk yeah, i would say be more simple and be right. uh, do what you like to do if you don't like bikes you don't have to ride right. bikes but uh, don't live for the image and uh, Completely so. and that's something that i've never i'm not worried about my image actually i'll give you a good example I uh, was when I was in law college some girls some budgetians invited us for a party right. and uh, some in Katunaiga it's about I think a, a bit far from Kalam when uh, we didn't have vehicle right so my friends uh, took a tri show and they didn't want to drive into the party in a uh, tri show I said no no drive in inside the party and we parked it in front of the, front of the pool and um, a couple of people from Kalam were like uh, kind of uh, looking at us in right. a funny way but yeah. <laughs> I was very comfortable Oh, so completely. that's, a, so, that's yeah. the confidence I had from small days. I mean, I, you live a very simple life, and that can be seen from the beauty of your home, how rustic it is. I mean, it, it's, we were speaking about this before. It's absolutely it's about beautiful. seventy years old. This house, fantastic. I mean, honestly, I've I mean, done up, I've done it, and on my own, I did it up actually. Completely. So, so yeah. would you? Not to go into any details, but would you tell other cabinet ministers and stuff? Would you ask them to be more simple, or how not would you really? It's their style. It's their prerogative. No, I, I'm right. not going to tell them what to do with their lives as long as they're doing a good job. Completely. It's, it's so. up to them to live the life that they want to live. Definitely. And I would, uh, without without uh, listening to anybody, I would uh, lead my life the way Absolutely. I want to lead it, and in a very simple way, um, immaterial of the the criticism the or whatever I get. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything you want to say to the people of Sri Lanka? Uh, just bear with us. We are with this president, prime minister. All of us are trying to uh, actually uh, build this country, and we have to do it from the scratch. Uh, it's a economy that we have uh, got uh, in in dire straits, and uh, we have put the platform. We have uh, brought good governance. So give us some time. Within about one or two years, we have got the the GSP. We'll get the GSP plus, and we'll uh, get uh, our exports uh, uh, almost double in about uh, two three years time. We will start manufacturing a lot of things in Sri Lanka. We are on the process of uh, oil refineries, uh, uh, gas refineries, sugar refineries. A lot of things to come for the future. So bear with us. It's not easy for us to, as we as soon as we took the government, it's not easy for us to uh, face the tune because of uh, what the earlier government has done. The debt about thousand three hundred billion a year, and without income. So bear with us for about six months, one year, and uh, you, you will see results. That's that's what I have to tell the public. Thank you so much, Minister. I hope you enjoyed your day. Thank, thank you, and and the reason actually, I'm not a, uh, I'm a bit of a private person, and right. I, I don't do this sort of thing. But the enthusiasm that uh, your friend and all of you all had, and I thought uh, you deserve something like that from me. And I had an interview with you all, so that is the reason, and I, I want the public to know that because I'm not uh, uh, trying to say that this is this is how I yeah. live, and I, I'm not trying to. Market this or anything. Uh, so I just want to get the public because I I will have criticism on this also. Then yes. I know for sure. So uh, I want them to uh, just know that uh, the, the the young people like you, the enthusiasm you all have, the creativity you all have, and uh, after seeing that, I was encouraged to see that I could see myself when I was your age. That uh, that hunger for success and to do well and to do well in whatever you do. So I wanted to support uh, you guys, and that's all I did actually. And we cannot thank you enough for this opportunity. We are completely humbled by your presence and your actual take, allowing us to take you on your journey today. Um, thank you so much again. And go for your goals. Um, uh, be humble, be simple, but go for your goals. Thank you so much, Minister. Okay, all the best. Then pick me taxi. Book karne ko ta priya durge baasha hai. Oh, wahan model lagam ata toora ganne bolwa. Pick me. Langama taxi at the Langa Terminal.